were trying to give out information in the hospital itself uh, to the patients and, and to the staff. And um, we were actually thrown out. Um, we were not allowed to do so. And uh, we think we should be able to be uh, have the right to come in and inform the patients and the staff here, just in the lobby, and um, that in other in other in other you know health facilities as well. All right. So to answer that question, I appreciate the work you've been trying to do, but handing out leaflets in the practice area, I think, is disruptive to the flow of patients in the practice area. You can hand put up leaflets out, pamphlets out in front of the building in the vestibule, but I think going to the physical practice and interrupting the patient is somewhat disrespectful and disruptive. The lobby is not a practice area? No, it's not a practice area. Okay, so we can do that in the lobby? Is that what you're saying? I would have a problem. Yeah. Okay, so I would, okay. It's disruptive to the patient flow in the building. Now, when you say patient flow, it's not just in the clinical area. The lobby is not the biggest space in the world. Okay? So if we're standing there giving leaflets out, you're impeding patients from walking into the building, and you could possibly cause a fire. It is not by the entrance. It is against the wall. Okay, so maybe you have a table with a scarf. So the, re the reason why the reason why there was some leafleting in the lobby because when we gathered in December there was a commitment that would be better communication with the staff and the patients around community forums like this. There was no uh, that we're aware of with the community in terms of communication with the community, with patients, with staff, and with other people around that. And so when we tried to do that, we thought it was ironic that we we're trying to support you and letting know letting people know what's going on that we were actually thrown out. We weren't taking up a lot of space. We were sharing. We were just handing out some flyers. It wasn't even that many people, but handing out flyers about a community forum that we were hoping to be in communication and in collaboration with you is somewhat ironic. So if that is not allowed, we would like to ask, what commitment can you make to ensure that there's communication with staff, with patients, with community organizations, and stakeholders that will ensure that there is even more people in the room because you have done outreach to them? So, um... This is one of those um, areas where we can do some brainstorming together with you. And I don't want us to do it all you know, tonight, because otherwise we'll be here all night. But I'll give one example of an idea. So if there's a way that we could together create a big board, right, that we could put on a tripod about the next meeting, so that when people are coming over, you know, coming in, as they're going to the pharmacy, or the mental health area, or to the elevator. At least we can have it for the big board. There's a big board downstairs, for example, when I came in, that talks about a forum around the Affordable Care Act. So if we can have that kind of thing, maybe that's a middle ground to having folks handing out, you know, petitions. Um, you know, that's an idea that we can work on. If there are other things, if